Hey, Rick Allen from Def Leppard, and you're watching Life Minute TV. Well, this is a special event uh, for the Ravid Drum Foundation and Friends of Firefighters. We're coming together with legendary artists to be able to support our firefighters and, and help them recover through trauma. Um, there's two organizations that support uh, music and complementary and alternative medicine, which is a really important pathway for a lot of uh, a lot of us, all of us, to be able to move through difficult times. So we're really excited uh, to be playing for New York um, and, and supporting, especially our 9/11 firefighters, um, who's done so much and still suffer so much uh, today. And we want to spread the word about post-traumatic stress. We want to destigmatize. Uh, so that all of our first responders um, have the ability to come forward and get and get help, um, and uh, we're here supporting them. Music is medicine. Um, it's uh, it's a time machine. It takes people to those coming of age moments, or it could be an emotional an emotional state, you know. Uh, but uh, for myself, it's really it's re really become uh, a vehicle for uh, for healing. Uh, on many levels. Music has brought this many people together. Oh man, who isn't performing here tonight? You've heard of Peter Chris, of course. You've heard of uh, Jim Keltner, Bashiri Johnson, Billy is gonna be here, the drum wrangler. Um, I'm gonna be playing with my wife's band with Lauren Monroe, which is gonna be really fun. There's the who's who of, of percussion players and you know, along with percussion players, normally comes everybody else. I was in one of the biggest bands in the world, Kiss. So now that the band's over with and all, I'm doing a lot more of this stuff. And I, I love it, because it's not all about, you know, rock and roll stars. It's about for the firemen. More now than ever, I think we need this unity. And I'm blaming everything on music. It's about what we need to do for each other, with each other. And it's music whether you like it or love it. It's the only universal language. You know, you can play drums in Tokyo and someone can understand it in Sydney or Boston or, you know, no other language is like that. And drumming, I think, was probably the very first instrument, apart from the voice. But actual drumming goes back thousands of years and let's hope it continues for another thousand.